Welcome back. Today I am going to talk about the vehicle load transfer. So let's go to the our session. Here vehicle load transfer and weight transfer have different idea. So load transfer happen when we vehicle braking and the acceleration due to inertia force the force transfers to the front and rear wheels when we are applying the braking the forces transfer to the front wheel and when we are accelerating the forces transfer to the rear wheels so in here uh, you can see the two different models the one is the sport car and another one is the lorry so in sport car you can see that center of gravity is very low it's situated in very low level when we consider the lorry that center of cavity height is very high so because of that the lorry can't go to high rpm it means high speed so sport car can get high speed because there is no risk to rolling because the center of gravity is in very low level so when we move to the vehicle weight transfer that weight transfer happened due to change of the point of center of gravity so that center of gravity is mainly control the stability of the vehicle so let's go to next part so how it happened so when the weight transfer and load transfer happening in the cornering and braking and acceleration so that are weight transfer in cornering here you can see that reaction force in the vehicle wheels in the in the inside the corner it has low reaction force and outside of the corner it has high reaction force it means that weight is transferred from the inside to outside you can see here 3 minus 1.5 kilo newton inside wheel and outside wheel have 3 plus 1.5 kilo newton that inside reaction force losing some weight and that weight add to the outside reaction force during the cornering a lateral acceleration by the tire contract patch is created the vehicle mass resists the acceleration with the force acting at its center of gravity this force generate a lateral weight transfer in the opposite direction of the turn. So let's move to the lateral weight transfer in braking. During the braking, the weight shift from the rear into the front tires. So in this image, you can see that all the weight moves to the front wheels the front wheel suspension absorb so that's happened in the braking that's why when we are inside the vehicle when suddenly when we push the brake we are going to little bit forward so when we are talking about the acceleration during the acceleration weight weight shift from the front in front to rear tires in this 
picture you can see that so you can feel that when you suddenly when we are accelerating the vehicle we are going backward or oh, toward to the seat so you can feel it this is the happen when the mm, weight transfer so that's all that why i share in this slide in the next video i am going to do some calculation about the weight transfer so you need to know about this basic thing so when we are going to do the calculation then we then you can easily understand what we are going to do so thank you all see you in next video